Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kansas City, Missouri, in which tonight we have Max Slade responding to the Iblis Open Challenge. Iblis Open Challenge was sent out last week with dire intentions and also with quite the uh, deal breaker. If Iblis loses this match, he will not be booked at Fully Loaded, but if Iblis wins, he gets to choose what kind of match and where he will be at on the card. And this is some tough competition. Iblis did say that he was looking for, for one hell of a fight, and I can damn sure guarantee that he found one in Max Slade. the opponent, representing the family of devastation, the sinful cosmic champion, ladies and gentlemen, Iblis. Now if you haven't seen Iblis before, his style of wrestling is very, very power based, and man, he has pretty much all the power in the world. Strength levels are very high. Uh, agility, not so much though. So if somehow Max can work on the legs of Iblis, he can very well defeat Iblis with ease. But of course, Iblis is still quite the powerful opponent. Max has quite the challenge in front of him. As the bell rings, here we go. And immediately, Iblis. Demonstration of strength. As you see, with the big stalling suplex. Kick to the back immediately. Takes Max Slade down to the ground. Picking up Max. European uppercut in return. Back into a collar elbow. First collar elbow of the night. Uh, clean break by the two. But Max immediately fighting back with a big spinning heel kick into a judo throw. Kick to the back. Max Slade now on the offense. And big German suplex. And then returning with a stomp to the back of the neck. There's another one. And a stomp to the chest as well. Sweep the leg. Takes out Max. Kick to the back. Now, Max with a knee. Taking down the big man. Max, obviously, uh, one of the biggest stars in Madness. 
of course, Nexa Iblis as he takes him down into a snapmare and into his rounded side headlock. Iblis, of course, trying to wear down his opponent, Max Slade. Uh, Max Slade also very well known to have quite the amount of energy in him. Uh, he can keep going for however long. Uh, as we see here with Max Slade, oh my gosh, powerbomb position, buckle bomb by Max Slade. Into a cover now. One, two, not even a two. Max Slade into an armbar, but now Abel is breaking out of it very smoothly. And now another suplex into just a straight up toss. Back down into a side headlock. Max getting up into his headlock of zone, breaks it though. Into the corner, big knee misses. And now forearm, no. Forearm, no, not again. Instead, Rolling Silva to the middle of the stomach and then a shock therapy for good measure. Max Slade. Narcotics! This could be it, folks. Into the cover. Could this be it? One. Two. No. I'm sure he's confused and just all around just worried that Iblis kicked out of the narcotics elbow. As you see there, Max now trying to work on the arm of Iblis. And now Max to the top rope. Waking up Iblis here. What could he have planned? Spinning heel kick. Something back. Making sure Iblis is grounded. A very nice strategy to have against him. One. Only a one count again. Max trying to egg on Iblis here. Back. Oh god. Looked like to the side of the head. Iblis with a super kick for the midsection. Shin kick. Max trying to play to the crowd like he normally does. Stomp to the stomach. To the back. Another one. Oh my god, what a kick to the face. Now Max. Again, working on the arm of Iblis, I believe, trying to neutralize a clothesline from hell. As you see, Max now with the knees to the back. Stomp to the head. And now, Max will see looking for here. Off the ropes, knee to the face, into a neck breaker. A nice combination move there by Max. Into a single leg Boston Crab. Iblis trying to crawl to the ropes, trying to break the hold. But I believe he broke it himself. No ropes required. Something back. Almost hit him with a forearm. Instead, Tiger suplex by Iblis. Picking up Matt Slater. Big clothesline from hell. One, two. Only a two count, ladies and gents. What has to be done to stop both of these men as Iblis goes straight back into a side elbow? Max into another headlock of his own. Regicide! One, two, three! Iblis gets the victory just like that! Regicide connects out of nowhere! And Iblis has free reign over where he places on the fully loaded match cards. 
where he where he will put himself. I mean, I feel like he'll put himself in the main event. But that has to be seen. Now we take it backstage to our new backstage correspondent. it wouldn't be a madness show without the A-lister Liam Jindrak now Liam Jindrak has been in quite the rivalry against the ex-military monster of the supremacy known simply as X Liam Jindrak uh, what can be said about him that hasn't been said already? He is a genuine star in the making here in Madness. And quite frankly, all around the world. As uh, he has been in many A-list films, including Ninja Mom and various others. Tonight he will be in a tag match against X, but who is his partner? It appears to be one of the contenders for the Madness Cruiserweight Championship, Andrew Bates, or Anthony Bateman, my bad. Um, recently changed his name, I have no idea why, but uh, there he is now, <laughs> gotta get used to his name again. Anthony Bateman has had quite the history here in Madness, uh, and by having quite the history, I mean competing in one match and uh, requesting for the Cruiserweight division. As you see him there. Doing his usual shout out to his hometown. And now for the opponents. I feel like this should come as no surprise. As you 
see the owner of Madness, Matt Short. Jason Stone and X, two members of the Supremacy. And as you can see there, the Madness Galactic Champion held that belt for quite a while now. Uh, so far, the only and the longest reigning Madness Champion. Well, Madness Galactic Champion. Jason Stone was originally meant to be in a tag team here in Madness with partner Yusuf Zinda. And then uh, that obviously didn't go into flourishing. So now he is the. I want to say the Hitman is supremacy. See Liam Jindrak X. Both men starting out. Two of the guys in this match have the biggest grudge. As you see, X immediately with a shoulder block. And now just walking on Jindrak. Literally. Jindrak back immediately with an inverted power slam. Now, shoulder block. Take down by X. Here's the over the top rope. X going to the outside now. As elbow by Jindrak drops him and shoves him back. Kicked in midsection now. That's X had planned here. Oh. oh my god! Jesus Christ! Already with the big power moves. Sam Zamonta and Mad after putting him back into the ring. And now into the corner. We see some teamwork. No, Jindrak instead is revolting. Coming back. Back into the corner of the Supremacy. Boot to the head. Elbow to the face. Punch to the face. Into the opposing corner. Jindrak, of course, gets counted once again. And back into the corner of the Supremacy. Jindrak. These two know each other far too well. As you see, Jindrak just hit that back suplex into a neck breaker. As he tags in Anthony Bateman. Stomp to the mat, I guess. Punch, no. His head into the corner. Mag made. And kick to the stomach. Big knee. And now takes him down with the fireman's carry. As Anthony springboard drop kick off the ropes. But wait, Matt Short distracting Anthony Bateman. Leave it to the owner to do something funky. Let's see. Jason Stone with a big German suplex. Into a bridge, not even getting a one count. Into a fireman's carry, takes him down. Into a big flying DDT by Anthony Bateman. Kick to the stomach. And now, oh, tried going for some sort of tiger driver, but Stone counters. Oh my god. 
vicious combination there by Jason Stone as he goes into a backdrop suplex. Tags in Jindrak. Jindrak came in with a full house of steam, full house of fire, and he just got doused out by Jason Stone. Double stop going for the cover. One, two. Only a two count. Elbow to face. Tried going for a second one, but he missed it. Instead, into an arm drag. Kick to the stomach. And another backdrop. No! Jindrak counters it. And of course, he hits him with the dab. Close line. Close line. Jindrak coming back. Another flying close line. Kick to the midsection. We've seen this move before. Blockbuster neckbreaker. Punch. No. Said. Me to the face by Jason Stone. Into a flurry of kicks to the head. Originally to the chest, but that last one obviously to the chrome, to the uh, to the dome of uh, Jim Drank, I'm sorry. Kick to the face. Jim Drank, or uh, Stone, my bad. Really trying to get some tag team offense in here. And oh my god! Who to the face? Takes him down, overhand punch by X. Oh, X trying to go for full body, just brick wall, as I like to call it. X tossing Jindrak into the corner. Punch to the head. Oh no. Weapon X. By, by X. Bateman coming into the ring, breaking up and count. X counting away. As you see, Stone also taunting, trying to go for a dive. No. Instead, rethinks the decision and goes after Bateman. What's he got planned here? Oh my god, on the apron. Excuse my voice. Into the corner. Kick to the stomach. Now Jindrak. Sends up for the power bomb. But I believe the ref was distracted. No! Only not even one kind of bell. Anthony Bateman tagged in. Ooh! Try going for some sort of twisting roundhouse. Missed twice. And now, Jindrak or X with a big scoop slam. It's trying to wake up Anthony Bateman. Body block, as I'm calling it now. By X. And now, gut shoot, or gut punch. And it's called it punch. Into the ropes. What a spine buster. I see now X whip into a back breaker. Nasty maneuver there. And now X picks up Bateman. And now, again, another punch to the stomach. Takes him down, picks him back up, and now taking him around town. Anthony Bateman super kick out of nowhere. For some reason the crowd's not behind him. Jason Stone 
flying into nothing, diving onto the mat and only that. And now Bateman in full control of Axier. You see he has him in the Boston Crab, but X gets out of it. And now trying to trying his best to rally the crowd behind him for some reason. But there's a clothesline. Up and over with a back body drop. And now spine buster. Fantastic move there. Into a single wolf. Never mind. Anthony Bateman breaks out of it. And instead, nothing. Big Lariat. He tried going for the God's last gift. Or uh, the fallen. Fall from grace, that's what it was called. Instead, gets hit with Weapon X. And now, another Weapon X. I'm soaking at Jim Brown. Pulling him in with a hip toss, no less. European uppercut by Jim Brown. Jim Brown trying to fight back. Pulling another hip toss. Throws him onto Bateman. Bateman tried going for a DDT of sorts. Misses with Cien Sigiri. Kick to the stomach. And now. X. Jesus Christ. Power bomb to the outside. X again brings in. Jindrak, and now a gut punch. And again. Oh my god, there he goes to the outside once more. And now Anthony Bateman with a neck breaker. There's a hometown trivia there to Randy Orton for his hometown of St. Louis. And now working on the neck of X. No, neither the stomach. Into the hang, into the uh, choke by X. Ooh, what is? And now X looking to put an exclamation point on this match. Weapon X into the cover. Only two. X trying to choke him out. Going for the cover once again. Only two. X now lifting up Anthony Bateman. Bateman throws him into the corner though. To the corner of the supremacy once again. Punch, punch is out of the way. Headbutt by X. Stone now. In to the crossface. Jason Stone could have it. He's got it. Jason Stone and the Supremacy win this match. As we see there, Matt now entering the ring. There is no doubt in my mind that this definitely aided their momentum going in to fully blow. We'll see you then.